Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Yasef. All right, it's time for another part of Remother Tormented Fathers. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm a little nervous because I feel like we're going to be tormented by Celeste in this part. Me. <laughs> Just because uh, she's the one that told us about the secret or mysterious fireplace in the first place. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Time to be tormented by me, my evil twin. Oh, no. All right, I suppose it's time to get... Trying to make sure there's nothing else we can interact with. We already moved everything we needed to to go behind this wall. Oh! No collectible unlocked. Uh, see the other side. Why did you grow up? Why did you become Jennifer? Uh, I don't know. Because when you're a kid, you kind of grow up to be an adult. You know, that's just kind of the thing that, uh, that happens. Picked up by di diversion item. A lot of mirrors in here. Hello. Hello. A toys in here. Okay. Is this a dead end? It kind of seems like it. There's a TV over here. Look like I can watch it though. Oh, there's a door here. How did I miss the door? It was literally right in front of me. Oh, I don't like that sound. Okay. My sp Ah, oh, what is that sound? It's very annoying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's right here. Oh, is it the TV? I don't like that it's a cutscene. Well, that's good, because I don't know who you are either. Dr. Felton has just always been mad crazy. Mommy confessed. It's all their fault. But I should have never come back home. But how can I use it? Mom will help me to get away, just like the other time. I showed her that one of the boards was misplaced behind the wardrobe, and that I could access the attic through the space between the rotten wall panels, creating a passage. 
find the wardrobe. Why wouldn't the mom go with her? Why would she want to stay with that kind of abuse? Oh God, I actually hear footsteps too. Ah! I knew something was gonna happen! Damn! Tells me those moths are not gonna let us leave. supposed to uh not look at it okay got it i got it okay don't don't look at her dead body all right let's try this again so many times. We're supposed to smash the mirrors. Okay? This bitch keeps killing me. And it's not okay. Like, I'm getting... I'm getting upset. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a mirror over here. Okay, I need more bricks. I need more bricks. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. There's one here, too. Okay. I'm trying not to look at them. There, She's everywhere. Did I smash this one yet? Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Got it. Oh, fuck. I hear her. I hear her. I hear her. I hear her. God, I'm scared. Got it. Okay, where's the last mirror? Oh, where's the last mirror? I don't know, but I think I'm out of bricks. Oh God, I'm out of bricks. I think it's the one on the floor. Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't wanna die again. I've died too many times and I'm tired of dying. I'm tired of dying. I'm so scared. I'm like literally so fucking scared. Oh God, she's behind me. Got it. Did I get them all? Oh shit, there's one up here too. How many fucking mirrors are there? Holy shit. I'm scared. I'm scared. 
I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I got it! Shit, there must be another mirror. Wait! Is there another mirror? I don't know, but I don't hear her telling me not to look anymore. But I'm still scared to look. I don't want to do that again. Why? Why don't I hear it? Did I, did I get all the mirrors? I don't know. Did I go in the bathroom? I'm very scared right now. Cause I don't want to do this again. Hello? Supposed to open this? Did I do it? Oh my gosh, please. Oh please, oh please. Please, <laughs> please. That took me so long. <laughs> my heart is beating so fast. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so good, as I've told you guys before, about getting your heart racing. Whew. <gasps> How am I not dead? How did that not kill me? I bet it smells so bad down here. Ew, look, I got like, that's probably poo water on my face. Shit. Ew. Yeah, that, yeah, shit, know. exactly. That's what's on your face. Oh gosh. Why do I feel like a head is just gonna pop up and say, ah. Oh, we got a trophy earned uh, called violence. Wow, we love the violent trophies. Oh, but I have not saved. I have not saved yet. I heard you. Ah, no, no. dead. I thought I died. Wait, what am I doing? Ah! Oh! I'm dying. All right, so I have to just hit the right button at the right time. Okay, well. All right, we got the X. We didn't hit the circle last time, though. That's, that's, that's what killed us. So she shut it on us so we couldn't leave. She literally said, no, escapo. Circle. Yeah, you're not getting me this time, bitch. Okay, squares over here, triangles on top. X.
Is this where I need to go, right here? Is she gonna let me go here? Cause damn. Uh... I'm just trying to leave. Like I'm literally trying to get out of your hair, but she won't let me. I don't know if she's gonna be up here waiting and we're gonna have to run and not even know where the hell we're going. Oh, I'm not ready for this. What am I looking at? First prize, the best roses, 1929. Let's see, 1929, my beloved husband, our little girl, Jennifer R. Felton, light of our eyes, triumphs with her innate talent for the green thumb. May your triumph be a good omen to you and, and Musini's troops and Ethiopia. You, 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 Ethiopia, we miss you, your sweetheart. Okay, it says, our girl, Jennifer Felton. Is her name Jennifer or Celeste? I am so confused with whoever the hell this girl is. And I'm sure she is just as confused. It can't be the same person. Same. Jennifer? Or Celeste. I mean, nobody really knows. <laughs> nobody knows. I don't even think she knows. Oh, she's coming for me, isn't she? I hear, like, heavy breathing. Oh, the eyes. Jennifer. Oh, that's right. She doesn't like when we touch her things. What are we doing? What? Felton. Jennifer. Richard Dean Felton. Yeah, so she is a Felton. Split personality. Unhealthy upbringing by deceased father. I was a disappointment to him. A wimp. Overdose of hormones and testosterone. I once or twice refused to go through exams. This is why he wouldn't go further through exams. They would have understood. Now I understand why he was obsessed with his growing daughter, and why he started calling her Jennifer. She was everything his father never wanted him to be. Jennifer. Is that, was that Dr. Felton in a wig? Wait, 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 wait. Is Dr. Felton Jennifer? Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Da, 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 da. The truth unveiled. All right, we got some more bricks, so we can throw some bricks. Is there like a mirror in here? Because I'm probably going to need a mirror too. Uh, let's, let's, oh, what was that? Oh, nothing. Okay. I don't like that noise. Can you calm down, please? How many times am I going to pick this up? I don't want it. Where am I? I don't know. I hate this. She's going to come and scare the hell out of me. I just know it. I don't think this is a save. Oh, I hate this. The suspense in this game, it's too much for my heart. My heart can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my gosh. Why did I choose to play this game? Uh, 
Uh, Rossigallo Farm Distribution, manufactured and packaged in Italy. Okay, I don't know why that was important for me to read and risk my life. I really hate this. And the fact that the light is so bright, that's gonna go away. I know it's gonna go away. And it's gonna go away, like, right here. Look, it's already disappearing. Oh my gosh. Really like a mirror, please. I hear music. Don't like it. What is this? Again. I don't want it. Okay, okay, I don't care about that. God. God, I can't go that way. And I haven't saved. I hate this. Why? Am I? I hate the music so much. Can I go this way? Nope. I know you're here. gun isn't that lovely isn't that just lovely oh this part is fun i like this part <laughs> i like this part oh yeah this part's a piece of cake love it oh my gosh my best friend let me tell you about my best friend she likes to shoot me with a nail gun in my head <laughs> She also doesn't know her name. Oh, nah, nah. Don't know her name. Oh, no, no. Not Jennifer nor Celeste. Or maybe is both. Nobody knows, including her. <laughs> or maybe it's Dr. Felton. That music needs to shut up. Okay, well, uh, she didn't uh, see us, so that was good. sure that's ready Go. first one's right here I hate 
that nun. I hate her. Was that you? Ha <laughs> ha! Son of a bitch! Where are you going? Was that you? The other one. What are you doing? You're all against me. Fuck. <laughs> right after I got it, I had all three valves. I had all of them. <laughs> I think this is the most suspenseful part of the game. At first, I thought it was the red nun. I, I, okay, at first, I thought it was Dr. Felton. Then I thought it was Red Nun. Now I say no. I was wrong. I was freaking wrong. It's freaking Celeste slash Jennifer, whoever the fuck. Like, this is so scary. I hate this. I hate this so much. And the they're so long. The corridors are so long. Obviously, she's got to spot me. There's no place to hide. Oh, God. And I think she already found me. <laughs> Go. Fuck that bitch. At least I hit her with a friggin' bottle of wine. She deserved that. I hope that hurt. I hope one of the friggin' glass shards got in her friggin' eyeball. Easy bitch. Let me guess, she already found her friggin' way back over here, didn't she? Shut up. Stop breathing. Go and hear that. Everything was all right. How did she find us already? I hate that nun. I hate her. the wrong way. <gasps> I didn't go the wrong way. Oh my God. Oh, you're here somewhere. All right. I got the two hardest valves. The third valve is where we need to go. Fuck yes. Fuck this bitch. It's time to go. Oh, my heart is beating. So fast, and I'm terrified. <laughs> Got her, go. Right, let's go this way. Yes, 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 yes. This is exactly right about you. where I wanted to go. Is she following us? That was right about you! Okay, that was probably a bad idea, but this is the only way I know how to go to get to that valve the fastest. Fuck, I need her to just leave, please! <laughs> please, I'm so tired of this part. I'm trying to get away from you! Oh 
Oh my god! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh please! Fuck this bitch. Go. Oh my god, it worked! 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 Ah! Right here. I was supposed to shut the door. I was supposed to shut the door on her ugly ass face! Oh my god! I hate this part so much! <gasps> no way! Did it save it? Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. <gasps> Wait, what was that? Oh my god, I got it. Oh fuck! I don't want to play again. I don't like that it's a cutscene. I don't like that it's a cutscene. <laughs> please, please have mercy on me. Please, that part was so brutal. <laughs> please. <sighs> Am I alive? I think I'm alive. My health is probably so bad though. Oh my gosh, I hope it auto saved here. I hope it auto saved here. That what that part was the worst. I hated that part. In case you guys couldn't tell. Oh man. No way. This was too easy. I feel like I need to hide. Good way. No, I hate this. I like the stairs. Come on. Oh, I hope I was right. I might have been wrong. should have been flashed as a symbol of the aspersion in memory of the Christ's death on our souls. And so we shall receive our penance. God, it's almost like it's a horror game or something. Who would have thought? 
Who would have thought this would have been a horror game? Like, who would have thought? Oh, shit. Leave me alone! No! No! <laughs> I hate her. Go! Oh, I hate her. Oh, I hate her. Hey! I don't think she followed me! No way! I don't think she followed me. Okay. Can I still save? Because I would really like to. I would really like to save you. Are so mean to me. I heard a door. Oh, fuck me. Bitch. No! She's not gonna let us save. Now, bet. I guess we're gonna try to save on the third floor. Fuck this bitch. Wait. Can I go this way? No way. No way. No way! No way! Oh my gosh! Okay! Okay! Is this the way out? Damn elevator! <laughs> Y'all gotta play games with me! No, no, no way. Damn it, nothing happened. There must be a way to stop it! Uh, did we stop it? Hello? Anybody here? Hey, Gloria. <gasps> Gloria! Oh, please? I'm here, please help me! Please, what on earth is going on? Be careful! They're armed! Who are you talking about? Him, and his damn psychopath! Uh, okay, I'm calling the police. Yes, do it now! Hey, wait! Are you still here? I am. Stay calm. Please, don't leave me. Listen to me. Go to the infirmary on the first floor. I'm the only one who holds the key. We'll wait for the police to gather there. Okay. Okay. The infirmary? I don't know where that is. Where's the infirmary? Damn it, Gloria. I don't know where that is. What the fuck is the infirmary? I wish I had a map. I feel like this is not where it is, but I just wanted to save, but it probably makes more sense to save on the ground floor, doesn't it? Shit. Infirmary. The fuck is the infirmary? The basement is. Is it the basement? What's the infirmary? I don't know. I <laughs> The infirmary. I 
I just want to heal and save. Oh, apparently this is where I was supposed to go. So what happened? Oh, Gloria, please close the door. What's going on? Close this damn door. Oh, God. Now calm oh. down. Tell me what happened. Oh my God. Please, I'm here now. Can you hear me? I can't believe. Oh my, your heart is going no. to explode. No. Calm down, please. You have to take something. Where is the... Oh, I don't have any idea what happened, but now you're making me anxious. Mr. Felton killed his wife, ripped her apart, but he still believes he killed his daughter. God, I can't... I, I can't... I can't believe it. They always slept in separate rooms. Their marriage was a disaster. Disgusting. Even though Ariana knew about Richard's past, or Jennifer. But this... You also knew? Of course I knew. But I would have never imagined that, that... And you didn't do anything? You indulged it. You kept on supporting his barbaric experiences. Okay, I thought we're trying to get out of here and maybe not make Gloria mad? Please. His personal matters or well, the disappearance of his daughter made him a killer. I knew the cure wasn't going anywhere. It was more of a necessity. An, an addiction. An addiction? It doesn't make much difference how we call it. We don't choose our cure or our vice. They are the ones that rule. Don't you smoke? Are we seriously talking about this? No. I'm just saying that I knew about his bad habits. As his nurse, I knew how unorthodox and how inefficient they were. But that doesn't make me his accomplice. We have to go. They'll be here any minute now. Is there anyone with Mr. Felton? Some kind of... Weird red nun. One from the painting? Here, in the house? We have to stay here. Leaving now is out of the question. There are bars and the windows and doors. We're blocked. Here, drink this. Uh, why? Heartbeat down. I know we have no choice but to trust her, but after everything we've been through, what is that? Back and left again. I didn't want to believe it. He kept on saying it. He saw his Jennifer and everything. And I would even be Jennifer to him at times. Richard suffered from his father's anger. A crazy, lunatic psychopath. Split personality. Forced to live as a man against her will. All her life. It's not surprising this happened. The police are on their way? Of course. I called them a little while ago. <sighs> Yeah, I knew we shouldn't have trusted Gert. Dang it, you don't trust nobody. Gloria, Especially since she knew. How did you get in? The doors and windows have bars. We're trapped inside. Until now, I've had your keys. Your keys? You left them there on purpose until I found them. I know who you really are. Uh, uh, Trap me. I missed you a lot, sister. The child was dreaming. The moth is ablaze, and when his mother screamed that much, a black red death bestowed his touch. What the fuck? This should have been you. Hell, what is going on, uh, patient Miss Gloria Ashman? Urgent hospitalization. The patient complains of a bat of bad headaches and a sudden but partial lack of sight. Later requesting hospitalization. Diagnosis. Diagnosis is the rapid worsening of the fil oh my gosh, filamentary carapathy eye photosensitivity, caused by the assumption of cortisone and sem semi permanent damages to the optical nerve. Damages that had caused an extreme eye photosensitivity. The patient assumed cortisones to cure as a widespread and articulated parasitosis added to a suspected pharmaceutical contamination that caused several damages. Uh, ulcers, insulin deficiencies, flaws in memory, and hallucinations. But mysteriously, it has strengthened tissues, accelerating the healing processes of the patient. 
The reaction at the cortisone is absolutely immediate. The effects can even be irreversible as the damages to the site that may cause painful cerebral spasms and strong migraine with even an elevated something photosensitivity. Conclusion, the assumption of cortisone is prohibited due to the instant allergic reaction that may immediately lose the patient's eyesight and may also become potentially lethal. If necessary, insulin dosages are prescribed and it is absolutely prohibited eye contact. And it, and it is absolutely prohibited eye contact with strong light, which means sunlight except with bandages. They're all going to die one by one. So Gloria is also a patient. I still haven't saved y'all. I still have not saved and it's making me nervous. I'm gonna take it, aren't I? Oh no, this is not good. What am I looking for? Oh, am I going to stab him in the eye? Picked up the syringe. Oh no. Oh. Good. I can't walk now. Syringe. Medical syringe with abundant dose of cortisone. It can blind Gloria. Okay, so we really did see Gloria. I, I wasn't sure. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Excuse you! Oh. I think it's telling me to go this way. Oh. I don't have enough energy. What do I do? Oh, I just walk into her. Okay. Odd. Oh, jeez. <gasps> I can't save or heal anymore. This is it. Oh, no. Okay, so uh, we can't save. <laughs> That's a problem. Uh, can I hide? I can't even hide. What am I supposed to do? I know we're supposed to stab Gloria with the syringe, but I just walked right through her. Am I supposed to throw something at her first? I can't do it now. I can't even throw anything. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Okay, cutscene. <gasps> Dr. Felton, oh no! Hey, Dr. Felton, I know I broke into your house, but like, if I just apologize, um, can we be all good? <laughs> can, can I just apologize and you just let me go? Maybe, <laughs> please. Who are you? Why did you come here? Who is my daughter Celeste for you? What the hell are you? No, 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 impossible. Send her away. Some days when, when my, my thoughts are clear, I could even recognize which are my, my picture and which ones are my daughter's. But this horrible sensation of I am living everything again. My father back home that forces me to dress, speak, live as Richard. I was Jennifer. I thought I'd forgotten everything with time. But the more Celeste grew, the more I remembered who I was. I was. Who I could have been. So, with 
without knowing. I started calling her Jennifer. I was obsessed. She liked it when I called her Jennifer. <laughs> and she left. Why did she come back? I would have to stop her once and for all. For me. For me. For my father. My father. Stop. Just shut up. I told you already. Stop talking or I'll cut your tongue off. I am so confused. This goodbye will be the chance to reach my love. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Here you are. What did you do? Why? You're fucking sick! Oh, God. No. No! No! Follow the swing! Don't stop looking at it! You're fucking sick! You poisoned your brain with all of your bullshit! You were sick murderers! Listen to me. Uh, oh. oh! I didn't see what you were hiding in your pretty purse. You wanted to drug me, make me blind, right? Just like the old times. I loved you. I trusted you. You were one of us. But you don't deserve to be. I survived not once, but two times. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> You're not my sister anymore. Listen, who doesn't live can't remember. What kind of life is it to suffer that way? You deserve peace. No, no, no. Mr. Felton, please don't listen to her! She is Jennifer. She is your daughter. She represents everything you couldn't have. It was taken from you, and now... She's in front of you. This is how you killed your wife, Mr. Felton. Listen to me. Don't listen you to her. You failed the other times, but I'm you can't Rosemary. now. She can't we escape. Met this afternoon. You know how to do end. Do you this. remember? You know what you I, have to do. I gave you that picture. The picture mm. when you were a little girl. Remember? I told you I could have helped you. Help you find a cure. Oh no. No! <gasps> Felton! Everything. No! Please. I beg you, stop! So Gloria was the bad one all along. Plot twist! No. Alright, what do we do? There's no way I can swing. Wait, there's no way I can swing enough to get out of here. I'd rather not stare at it. The chandelier. I could try to let myself fall and then cut the rope with the broken glass. The chandelier. Okay. 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 Ah! Again. Well, let me like look at it. I look at it. Dr. 
Dr. Felton down! Uh, hell yeah! We don't look so good. What am I holding? There's my disgusting purse. Um, if I make it out alive, I might want to burn that or just throw it away. You picked up an elevator crank. Okay, so we need to go through the elevator. Oh, I thought she was going to say something about it. Uh, I guess not. She stared at it for a long time. Dang. Empty. Hang on. Want to make sure I have that equipped because I might need it. Oh, I have to make my way to the elevator. I don't think this is going to be easy. There's the broken claw. Go this way. Oh, actually, I went the wrong way, and I don't think I can save anymore. So, oops. Well, that is not going to be helpful, is it? Dang it. I think I need this door. Yep, I'm starting to hear noises already. Okay, is it just me or is everything much brighter in here? That's not a good sign. It is definitely not dark anymore. Well, she does think that we're dead, so maybe that's why. Turn that on, you idiot. I think tells me I need to hide now. Ah, okay, okay. I think that was at least the right decision. That made a lot of noise, so uh, yeah. Now they uh, now they know I'm alive because of the sound of the elevator. But at least it should be uh, should be ready for me if I can manage to uh, sneak my way back, which I may or may not be able to do. <laughs> I don't hear anything. It could also be a trap. No, turn that off. I'm not here. I'm dead. Remember, you burned me alive. I'm I'm a crispy piece of bacon. This is where I needed to be, right? Ah! You really thought I'd let you go? No. No. Not this time. Oh 
my gosh. All right. Did we blind her? I guess we're trying to crank our way out of here. I hope that was another autosave. I missed. I missed having, you know, autosave. I missed it. Where am I? Of a bitch! <laughs> Jeez, now that was a scream! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Christ, how do I get out of here? <laughs> how the hell did you get in here? Shut the hell up. The switch doesn't work. Of course the switch doesn't work. Why the hell would it work? You're trapped in here. You can't. I can't see. No! Please! Time to go. Oh, shit. <laughs> was it dead end? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> no. go this way. How did I miss that the first time? Oh, stabby item. Go. I want that. Definitely want the knife. I can't see. <gasps> oh no! I think I'm crawling. Oh, she's gonna scare me. I already freaking know it. I'm not scared. You're just... I don't know. what I was gonna insult you, but I couldn't think of one. <laughs> ah! oh, God. Jesus Christ! Don't you understand? You can't escape like she did. Are you there? I'm not deaf for sure. Take this! Man, I wish I knew how to kill her. Don't. And now I don't have an item to use. How does she know where I am? Oh, How does she know where I am? God. Oh, fuck you. Fuck. You shouldn't do that.
make you regret your shit. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> Go, go, go! I still have my knife too, yay! Oh, my heart! You're pathetic! You can't just kill me with Potter's own! You kill the old man! How is your integrity now? Are you there? I'm not death for sure! Go, 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 go! Shoo them away and then go up the ladder. I thought that's why it showed the, the bots. Ugh. We obviously can't go to the ladder because that killed us last time. You're just a pathetic copy of yourself. She didn't touch us. What do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do? Oh gosh. I can't see anything. Okay, okay. So the 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 light scared the moths away. Do I run now? Oh no! Oh no! I'm dead. I'm dead. <gasps> She's gonna get me! No! Did I go the wrong way? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. Okay. This way, I guess. My eyes! My eyes! The next was a wild. Damn it! Damn it! Get out of me! <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Which way? This way? What the fuck? Which way? Oh no. What did, what did I do? I'm so confused. I 100% went in a fucking circle. No, I didn't! You're pathetic! You- I can't see it! No! <laughs> Please! No! No! I can't see it! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, I really thought I was gonna have to do that again! Damn it! My eyes! 
don't think she's done with us. Slice you up, bitch! faster again i think we did it oh my gosh oh i can't believe gloria was behind it the whole time so i wonder if that means that dr felton was a victim like she did she just take advantage of his illness <laughs> So, you're still here. I can't be looking that great. Oh, this isn't how I wanted to die. I didn't want it to be like this. I should have never have come here. It's all my fault. It would have happened anyway. They didn't give a damn about the disease. They only used it to improve the phenoxyl. The moths were the final piece for the cure. And to show the world how much they were worth, they had noticed how moths were acting on Felton after he caught the disease in Egypt in 58. Oh, he deserved it. We were all test animals at the plantation. They used us. They made us believe we had been touched by the hand of God, giving us the disease as a sign. But then trouble came. The eyes burning, the bandage, the horrible pain in the head. All of this? Just forget. Phenoxyl was created as an antipsychotic drug for war veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. <sighs> to forget the horrors. As a father who ruined his daughter's life, forcing her to live as a man. Felton is just like all of us. He was a victim. He could only count on the results of the experiments of the plantation when they withdrew the drug from the market because of its crazy side effects. Wyman, that fucking bastard, synthesizing parasites and mixing them with the drug, only showed him he could do better. That it was possible to modify and control memories. Our memories. But we were only able to control the moths and be sick. Very sick. And those damn memories will come up again sooner or later. Now I understand. Felton always tell the truth. He just wanted to protect Celeste from all of this. From himself. From his Jennifer. The sessions were for her to just forget. Forget everything forever. And he was the one to push her to leave. And eventually, she did. She ran away. But 
I still haven't answered questions. It's not too late. This is not your end yet. Yet? I don't like that. The end of everything. And maybe we're already dead. And neither of us knows it. <laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. Maybe we both are. You could have been one of us. No, I couldn't have. Yes, you could have, sister. But I could never forget that day. All the screams, the flames. How could you? Oh, I think her memory went out. You wanted to propagate it as a sign of God. This was not a gift. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believed it. It's true. Who was the Red Nun? Was it Gloria? You left us there to die. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I... I don't remember. I, I can't remember. It's all confusing and I, I anyway, don't... It's over now. No, I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I've hated all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were, what we were. You are what you have become. Look at yourself. I'm nothing like this. This is all just farce, discount store garbage. You know, now I remember when I was young and I would lie on the grass. Oh, I love doing this. I would stay for hours staring at the emptiness and seeing myself somewhere else where I could go far away. And now all these memories hurt. Oh, it hurts so much. Why can't we just forget? Why? 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 Why do we have to remember? Because... That is how we save our memories from oblivion. She is still alive. You will find her. Celeste is still alive. Wait, then who was tormenting us? On top of the world. What? If God is real, I hope he is made of this love. I hope you will both forgive me one day. I already have. Bad habit. Smoke. Uh, forgiveness. We never thought we would live to see the sun again, like the sunshine. So uh, I'll take that. I will take that. Why am I still in the house? Ma'am, no. Ma'am, no. <laughs> Ma'am. Two hearts never lonely.
What was in the bag? What did she find? A goodbye. A goodbye that spoke of hope. Hope? Do you mean to say that, despite everything, she was not resigned to the idea of finding her? Not at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am 100% going to look up like ending explained because I am very confused. So Celeste is still alive, as we were just told by Gloria, who turns out she was crazy and the ringmaster, you know, the leader of all of it or the reason behind all of it. But I'm very confused. Who was the red nun? Uh, if that Jennifer was who was chasing us. So is she someone that just happened to knock on the door? Maybe she was a friend of Celeste, but because Dr. Felton's like memories were messed up, did he just think it was Celeste and like kidnap her? Is that who Jennifer is? I am so confused. One day later. Hi guys, so I watched an ending explained just like I said I would. Um, and I, some parts I was right, other parts I was completely clueless on. So um, Jennifer, Jennifer was Dr. Felton. So when we were in the attic and we were being chased, um, I think that was the attic. I'm not sure. Wherever all those wine glasses were, maybe that was a cellar. When we were there, that was Dr. Felton chasing us, wearing a wig, because he had the split personality disorder, which, we'd, which we had learned about. So that's who that was. And I believe Gloria was the red nun. So Gloria was wanting revenge. She did go after Felton, and she did hypnotize him for revenge. But Dr. Felton was a victim because of what his father did. I think Dr. Felton was born a man but his dad made him or his dad wanted a girl i think that's how jennifer was created either that or he was a girl and his dad wanted him to be a boy i don't know i'm still confused on that part but it was his dad's fault that he had a split personality disorder so that's how felton was kind of a victim as well um but yeah so that is what happened and i was very interested this game was great this game was fantastic um so in the next game porcelain tales i don't know if i said that right probably broken porcelain i did not say it right we get to find out what happened to celeste hopefully i'm very excited to play that game anyway i just want to give you guys a quick update that i kind of sort of understand more of the story now so again thank you for watching and i hope i see you guys for my next video bye